Hey, welcome back to the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge, and today we have Gravity Falls Shorts. This is, of course, a spinoff of the main series that's on Disney Plus, originally on the Disney Channel, uh, or Disney XD, I'm not sure which. I didn't watch it back then, but I was introduced to it. I'd heard a lot of stuff about it. Friends loved it, recommended it. Never got around to watching it until I did this everyday, you know, everyday thing, you know, on Disney Plus. So when I got it, when I watched it, I fell in love with it. I watched every single episode, but I left this as a little special gift to myself for some other point when it would be randomly selected, and it has been. So here we go. I watched all 17 episodes of this shorts series. They're all about, they say they're four minutes long on the thing here. They're actually three and a half technically, but once you take out all the foreign credits, it's a little over two minutes each episode. So... 2 times 17 is about 34 minutes, a little bit more than 34 minutes total for all these things. Uh, they Basically, these these shorts feel like full, full little episodes because it, it's so well done and it's so funny. Um, we start with a number of episodes of Dipper's Guide to the Unexplained, which is him trying to figure out some of the mysteries in the woods uh, there at Gravity Falls, and he's... Everything's shot on a video camera that uh, Mabel is running. And they edit it, edit it all together so we can see. And uh, yeah, so he's, there's like five or six episodes of uh, Dipper's Guide to the Unexplained. Then we dip into Mabel's Guide to whatever, whether it's dating or, uh, it's, it's a lot of stuff. <laughs> dating is one of the first ones. Uh, yeah, there's just a bunch. I should go through here and I'll, show it to you, but you, you can figure it out yourself. Uh, then there's Fixing It with Seuss. There's a number of episodes with that where he fixes what, the golf cart after uh, they bust it up. He, he's making his own economy where he keeps breaking stuff and then has to fix it. And uh, he actually does a pretty insane job. You have to see to understand. Then they do a number of TV spots for the Mystery Shack and some other things. Um, Little Gideon makes an appearance. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, and then there's sort of Mabel's scrapbook. And uh, yeah, so there's there's a lot to see in this thing, uh, especially if you're a fan of uh, Gravity Falls. And they're also, in the, at least for the first few episodes, uh, there are little hidden secret things at the very end of the episode that appear for a second. So if you freeze frame, you might be able to put together a mystery, which all Gravity Falls fans know. You cobble together some of the mysteries at the end of each of the regular episodes, you'll get a message or something. I haven't done it myself, but I have friends who have figured all that stuff out. So, yeah, it's worth checking out, and it's a, it's a good time just diving deeper into that world. It's I highly recommend everything Gravity Falls. Watch the series. Actually, watch the first season, then watch the shorts, and then come back for the rest of it. Because this one, I think, came out around season one or soon after uh it's from 2013 and gravity falls started in 2012 so yeah and this is there's definitely stuff that hasn't been revealed yet in the later seasons so you can watch this without ruining anything uh for yourself but it's best to know to know what the uh, show is about before going into these shorts because it introduces you to the number of the characters and you understand what's going on so anyway uh, that's all I got to say about that. Again, highly recommended. Uh, as for tomorrow, well, we're not doing something random this time. Uh, tomorrow is Friday, and it is the premiere of Raya and the Last Dragon, uh, non-premium. I accidentally, well, not accidentally, it randomly picked it a couple days ago, or last week, or whatever. And I uh, tried to watch it, but it was taken away. It's still there. You can watch the trailer, but... It's not premium available for premium purchase anymore because they're releasing it tomorrow. So come back here tomorrow. I'll have watched Raya and the Last Dragon. And if you have too, well, give us your comments and let us know what you thought of it, whether you loved it or hated it. I have not heard anybody say they hated it, but you know, hey, whatever. I'm going to find out what, it, what the, the fuss is all about tomorrow on the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. See you then.